Every single truck manufacturer to date has either overlooked or ignored one of the most highly anticipated and craved components sought out by EV truck owners today. But before we get into why that is, we need to know what is driving the demand in the first place. So let's dive right in and get totally trucked up. There are several leading add-ons that almost every electric truck owner has considered. In fact, not only have they considered them, they put down a huge amount of money to reserve these concepts, even resorting to projects to work around the problem. We'll start with the Cybertruck. On November 22nd of 2019, only two days after the Cybertruck reveal, Elon Musk tweeted a response regarding one of the biggest questions coming up about the anticipated Cybertruck release. And that was, will it have solar panels available to charge itself up? Musk responded that in fact, yes, they would incorporate solar cells into the retracting vault, adding a minimum of 15 miles of free range, saying that Tesla would also look at extendable options to increase that to 40 miles or more. Although that proved to be one among 10 other broken Cybertruck promises, check out that video right here. The demand didn't slow. In fact, that spawned innovators like space campers. Although at first it looked only a step or two above vaporware, the interest in the modified bed camper was so overwhelming that Space Campers was able to raise funds through pre-orders and go into full prototype development. Why was this so huge? For all those pre-orders, one of the hopes was to use the Cybertruck as an off-road camper and overlander and be able to not only convert the truck into a mini RV, but generate its own power while driving or parked. In one of Space Camper's earlier accessory configurations, retractable solar panels could extend while parked, acting as both a camp awning and exponentially increasing the charging capacity. A wave of designs all entered the fray at the same time, such as Cyberlander, which quickly accrued over $100 million worth of pre-orders. Again, Sticking with the Cybertruck, a battery range extender add-on was listed on Tesla's accessory page with the launch of the first production vehicles, but it was implied that this was not some add-on you could buy after purchase. It had to be installed at the factory. This was recently confirmed by Tesla, but why not simply purchase it and plug and go? Well, that was the first indication that manufacturers weren't willing to do what consumers wanted for their newly acquired EV trucks. Then came other amazing ideas that looked at methods of generating power all the time. Enter the most innovative of all vehicles, Aptera. This took the idea of solar powered transportation to a whole new level, generating more than enough solar energy in a day to power most people's daily commutes. Can you imagine? I mean, wow, never paying for any fuel again either fossil fuel based or energy grid related. That gets me so excited I could uh, do a solar EV guppy mobile dance. Anyway, this three wheeled alien tech is rapidly approaching production and solved one major problem in that it charges directly from an external source of energy, both while driving and parked, but there's more coming to market for the traditional EV truck to accomplish something similar. I have to mention at this point that producing this kind of content and doing all this single handedly, as I thoroughly enthusiastically do, still requires a lot of resources and I need your help to do these types of videos and be able to pull off my most ambitious plan to date to drive clear across Canada, the second largest landmass country and bring you all the information you hope to have about traveling near and far with an EV truck. If you can spare a small donation to help me buy equipment or pay for campsites 
every penny will go right back into these videos in this channel. However, if you can't, I deeply thank you if you can click that like, subscribe and bell notification icon to keep YouTube happy and help grow this amazing community. Now back to the video. With so many companies making lithium ion home backup systems, it's only a matter of time now that Tesla has introduced its range extender that competition will wake up to the opportunity. Imagine bolting a tidy tank to your EV truck only when you need the extra range, either in the bed or on a structurally supported rack. This would be the equivalent of four to five jerry cans of gasoline or diesel. If you'd like to check out my video where I talk about the need for this, you'll find it here and in the description below. We are now seeing portable wind turbines come to market, some claiming 400 continuous watts. That's enough to have a significant impact on recharging an EV truck if parked long enough. But the biggest development is in off-road and RV trailers that are themselves self-powered via electric batteries and drivetrains. More importantly, some designs act as battery backups off-road, but currently none have any means to directly power the vehicle that's pulling them. I did a video on these amazing innovations right up here. Basically, none of this will work in any existing electric truck, and that's because of this. Not a single one, not one of them has a power auxiliary port. As we know, there's been a lot of fuss over the CCS and NAX plugs in our EV trucks and how that is being worked out. But we can't run a cord, you know, that plugs into one of these damn things while we're driving. With so many options and innovations made possible, if such an addition were put in, it seems ridiculous that no truck manufacturer has introduced it. It seems foolish to only have one source of input for power, especially for a utilitarian vehicle like a truck or a van. However, I do expect we will soon see a standardized auxiliary input whereby consumers like you and I can purchase aftermarket campers, solar racks, battery backup packs, or portable power generation systems. If you like this video, please share it with your trucked up friends and let's keep this channel growing. Again, Thanks for watching.